hello 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 my beautiful and my glorious made people how are you all doing you all are welcome to this channel in the name of jesus you are welcome i love you all i greet you all according to any area you're watching me from god bless you god bless you all richly in the name of jesus how are you all doing guys how are you all doing i know that you're good because the god be for you and i who can be against us nobody we are coming as strong daily, daily to the glory of the lord hallelujah you are always welcome to this channel guys god bless you for your support always no matter what we keep on moving we move we move no looking back hallelujah so guys today we are going to be talking about the word we speak to our kids the things we say to our kids is very very important you can't pronounce a word just like that to your kids that will make that kids to be depressed for life a lot of children depressed too it's not only adults that is depressed the word you say to your child matters a lot if you say to your child that you are just good for nothing you might feel that that child just take it because you are his mother or his father but you don't know where he's going to sit in on that child you don't know what he's going to do in the life of that child that's why the word you say to your children you have to be careful because some children don't forget things easily that thing will grow with them and when you say to your child that you are just good for nothing no matter how people we celebrate them outside no matter what he will be doing in the school or elsewhere he will not be happy even though people are praying you you're so good you're so good she or he will feel that it's not good because why the parents that gave birth to him or her say that it's just good for nothing and when he go into his head or her it's going to make her or him to become something else and which is not good and another thing you must not say to your child is that oh giving birth to you was a mistake giving birth to you was a mistake i didn't plan this this was a mistake no there is no there is no child that is a mistake every children is given to us by god is a blessing from the throne of grace is God that bring them to us. So there is no children that is a mistake. When you tell your child that your child is a mistake, he will always see himself as a mistake outside. He will always see himself as a mistake. So you should not tell your child that he or her is a mistake because every children is a blessing. When you say that is a mistake, when you say your child is a mistake, he will always look himself or herself less important. He will feel that it's not important. There is nothing good about him or her. So it's good for you to validate your children also. And another thing you must not do to your child is to compare your child to another. They could see what you're doing. Do one look at that woman child. You know how to greet. You know how to, to, to coordinate. You know how to do some things. When you come to our house, they are very they are very no you don't compare every children are different some might be calm but they are very dangerous some might be be bubbly they are very good it's not by the way the child behave it's about the way you talk to that child those people that you feeling that their children are so good do you think do you expect me like like for example i'm going out i have to tell my children to coordinate what of if their parents are the one that when you get to that place you have to sit that in one place they call you to do this don't do they call you to do that don't do you see your senior greet them what of if it is their mother that tell them or their father that you're comparing them with angry with their weight so it's not good to compare your children with anybody because some children can be who they are not outside because their parents tell them to do so. But you don't know who they are when you get inside. So you must be careful what you always say to your children. Our children are a blessing from God. When we validate them, they are always happy. 
because we are their parents. They want to hear something good from us. So you should learn to validate your children because the children, they have feelings too. Children have feelings too. Even though you shout for your children in the house, children don't like when they are above like 10 or 12, they don't want you to shout to them in the presence of their friends. They will be so embarrassed, they will be ashamed, they will feel less of themselves because why is their parents, their head that do that to them in public? So children don't like that too. Another thing that you must not do to your child is always shouting and hitting your child, feeling that that is the way it's going to learn. No. If you beat a child and the child is used to the way you beat him or her, it was okay. Let me just do it. Sorry for the noise in the background. Let me just do it. Okay, he's going to beat me. No. You correct them with love. You correct them with kindness. Take them to, to yourself and talk to them lovely. Children have feelings too. A lot of children today, when you see them, they are so weak. They cannot talk outside. They are so, 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 so depressed. Because why? The way the parents might treat them in the house. You might feel that you want to train your children the way your parents train you. That's why you are doing them. No, our parents back there, some of them train us wrong. Some of, us, some of them train us wrong. Some of them train, train us right. Beating your children or shouting, always hitting, is not the right way to learn. It's not the right way to learn. You correct your children with love. They will always learn. Have you not seen some children that will just say, I want to kill myself. My parents don't love me. Yeah, there are children like that. My parents don't love me. Maybe it's because of the way you're doing to him or her at all. And another way is that you must not take one more than the others in the house. The other one will feel left out. The other one will feel that there's nobody in this home. The other one will feel that nobody cares for me. Nobody cares. And when you put that in the head, if you go to school or go to anywhere, you see that the person that show him or her love, he will feel that that person is his own person. And his family at home, he will, when he grow, that kind of person might be host to you. He might abandon you or he might feel that you are not his real parents. That's why you see a lot of children today that is saying that I will just kill myself. Why nobody loves me? People hate me. It's because of the way you're talking to them at home. When your children come back from school, their results or what they are doing is not the way you feel. It's good to encourage them that don't worry, you will do better next time. Don't because that the other of your son or your daughter did perfectly well and the other one did half well and you start bullying the other one, it will feel that you don't care. Just call the person, just call your child and tell him or her, don't worry, you will do better. I trust you. I know you. I know you that you will do better. You will see his ego or ego will rise to do better in order to please you next time. So I want to advise us that the word we are saying to our children is so, so powerful and we should be aware of the way we say it. No matter how you are angry, for you to curse your child, bless that child. Don't curse. Don't curse. Yes, I know children do weird things a lot. Children do a lot of things that will make you to be angry or to make you to, to be shouting. Don't shout. Don't curse. Rather, bless that child. You might be angry, Without your anger, I bless you in the name of Jesus. Bless that child. Because the devil wants you to curse. Don't curse. Don't curse. 
you see some parents because their children break their phone or their phone fall for their hands they will say this child is not coming into this house today they will be the heir of that child the phone and your child which one is more important which one is more important my children go to school one day they lost what i gave to them they come home with boldness not because uh, uh, they have to be coming home like that yes but it's what i told them they come home with boldness they say you, they lost this they were not crying because you said they are more important than those things yes you see what i've i've, I've now put in there yes what they lost i was really annoyed but i have to control myself because as a mother you don't know what you will say there is power in our tongue so we have to control what we say to the children. We have to talk to them with love. And if you are a mother that is always shouting, you are depressed, check the doctor. Meet the doctor. Because if you are depressed, sometimes you can be angry with the child all the time. Even they do something or not, you just sit there and be shouting. You have to meet the doctor. You need help. Children need to be feel comfortable around their parents in the home. If children don't feel comfortable with other people outside, I will understand. But their parents, they have to feel comfortable. God says, the word of God says, parents, train up the children the way they will grow, so that they will, when they will grow, they will not depart from it. It didn't say with bad word. Train them in godly way. It didn't say with bad word. It didn't say with irritating word. It didn't say you should bully that child. It said train up a child the way they will grow. Let them grow in love. Let them grow to know that the God you serve is a good God. If you are telling your children, don't do trouble. Be a good example to them. I pray may God help us, all of us, in the name of Jesus. So I have to go and meet my baby. I cover you all with the precious blood of Jesus. And I pray may God give all of us the grace and the power to, to train our children well in godly way in the name of Jesus. Our children will be with us. They will be comfortable. They will be lovely in the name of Jesus. Nothing shall take them away from us. They are protected. They will grow and become a great person in life in the name of Jesus. Every thought that shall rise against any of the children, I come against them with the precious blood of Jesus. They shall grow in the ways of the Lord in the name of Jesus. In their school, they shall become the best in the name of Jesus. They are protected. The evil spirit that is following a lot of children these days will never know death. They are protected. They are covered with the precious blood of Jesus. Our children shall ascend to the glory of the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus. Amen. I bless you all in the name of God the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Before we meet again, keep on passing in the Lord. Remember, it is not over until God says so. Somebody just remembered. Bye-bye. I love you.